Hello my fellow mermaids and thank you for tuning in. What I have in store for you guys is a review of the My Vanity Planet's body fat scale. You guys seem to like some of my other fitness tech type reviews like my Apple Watch reviews and unboxing so I would love to bring you a few more of those items. There's a lot of debate on these. My personal opinion is our world is just becoming more technology based. It'd be great if we all just listened to our bodies and worked out and doing all that but having technology now to kind of counteract all the technology like Uber Eats and Netflix that we gotta fight against, I think it's good. They actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review and at first I was like, no. I was like, ah, I don't just wanna be like, oh, here's my day, I randomly weighed myself. Like, oh, casual. So that's not me. I was like, why don't I just do a full review for you guys so you guys actually know and my thoughts about body fat scales and similar type items and my experience with this scale so you can make an informed decision if it's something you're interested in. Of course, there's a lot of other smarts as well, like there's the Aria, which is a Fitbit. Kia app has one that goes over. There's a bunch of others. And before I jump into this, if you are interested in getting this scale, there will be a link down below. If it is something at the end of the video you think can help your health or help keep you on track or whatever the case may be, or if you're just looking for a new scale and it's inexpensive, and it looks, actually, that's the biggest thing for me is it's just a very clean looking scale. Modern vibe in my new apartment, so that's why I went with this. But before we dive in, I just wanna have a couple disclaimers about this. Weight is not the biggest thing and the most important thing in your fitness journey. Neither is your body fat percentage. It's a good idea to have a healthy weight and body fat percentage to reduce the chance of a lot of health issues. But every single person is gonna be healthy at different body fat percentages. Everybody's gonna be different at different weights. If you see my weight, don't be like, hey, I need to get to that weight and I'll look like healthy. Because for all I know, you could be a skeleton like that or you could actually be just a little bit overweight if you're short. There's so many different, so this is just a number. It means nothing. It's just sometimes a good idea to know, but also know yourself if you're someone who becomes overly focused about the scale numbers, about body fat percentage. I recommend not getting the scale. It is not worth compromising your mental health. But if you're someone who can subjectively look at the number and know it's gonna go up and down every day, depending on the amount of water you drink, your time of the month, the amount of fiber you had yesterday, all those kind of things, if you know that, then it's okay. And it's all right to admit that numbers make you go a little Looney Tunes, because we all go a little Looney Tunes for some things. And just be good to yourselves, that's all I ask. And just don't, your self-worth is not a stupid number on a scale, but if the scale helps you be a little bit healthier, that's cool. Let's get to the review. First, I thought I'd unbox it, so you know what to expect if you unbox it. Okay, some little facts about the scale and what you can expect. So when you first get it, you're gonna have the option of choosing your gender, your height, uh, I think your age and all those, and so that way it's more customized towards you. Keep in mind, there's actually three options. Uh, you can do uh, male, female, and then you can also do athlete. I don't know exactly, but I think when you do athlete, it just assumes you are leaner. I don't know exactly how that works from a scientific standpoint, but no. What I noticed is yes, just being in the athlete one just gave me about like 4% lower body fat percentage. I don't know if like, because I'm very athletic, that's my actual body fat percentage or I'm more towards 19%. Now here, and I'll get into that near the end and my belief on how accurate the body fat percentage is. But that's near the end, we're gonna go over the little nitty gritty. So you can put that in and then when you go to weigh yourself, it's gonna show you your actual weight, it's gonna show you your body fat percentage, like bone, lean muscle tissue, water, and body fat percentage. So water will influx and change throughout the days, depending on your hydration, all that kind of stuff. The biggest thing I notice for myself is when I step on in the morning versus at night, you have a lot more water in your system, so the water is gonna go up with the scale as well. It's not actual like fat percentage. Of course, it shows the body fat percentage, so that's just the amount of your weight that is believed to be fat tissues. Keep 
of mind. You, we all need fat tissues. Uh, you can go look online. There's a lot of different scales depending on male and females. Males typically can hold body fat percentage a lot leaner. As is females, we have things like breast tissue, hips, and our hormones we need to be in a higher body fat percentage as well. You do need some fat on your body and then so go research that if you're interested in the actual ranges and also always talk to your doctor. I did experiment this with about a month and I just tried to lose like I'm, I'm not on a weight loss I'm just kind of I just maintain my weight I'm just kind of happy where I am I'm just chilling but I decided for like about a week to just try and eat in a calorie deficit just to see how the scale responded and it did respond I lost about a pound and a half I think two pounds and I did notice the body fat percent go down the lean muscle tissue go down a little bit as well and so did the water which is expected there's no way I was going to die and be like bam all fat gone that is I know that so that is where my belief is it's good and the body fat percentage seems to be kind of right I don't know my exact body fat percentage but it does believe I'm usually in the 19.5% body fat when I put myself as a female as just like a regular female now I notice when I put myself as an athlete it puts me at about 15% body fat and I but I like to think I am <laughs> shredded AF just kidding. I don't think I'm that lean. Uh, I, I don't know. I just like just, just like pinch test. You can kind of see like I got I got me some junk in the trunk and on the tummy, so I don't think I'm that shredded. I do have some visible abs, so obviously I am on the leaner side. But I, like I said before, I've always been a leaner individual. I've just always been leaner. It isn't hard for me to maintain this. My hormones are happy. I have. You know, I have good libido, I have good energy, I sleep well, I don't have crazy cravings, my hormones are checked, I have good energy, and this is just, and I don't have to mentally think, this is just where my body likes to hang out. If I lose weight and I go a couple pounds below this, I notice that's too much, and then if I'm a couple pounds above this, I feel very lethargic and like, Mur. like I said, it's all different for you. But now let's talk about how accurate I think the body fat percentage is. Now, the best way I actually did some research and Nikki Blackheader actually went and got a DEXA scale and then she tested this out and so that was why I think it is the most accurate. So you can go check out her video as well, she talked about it. But in the body fat scale compared to the DEXA, it seemed to be most accurate when she weighed herself as a female and not an athlete. So when she weighed herself as an athlete, this scale gave her a reading that was below what the DEXA scale was by a few points versus when she did it with just as the female reading, it was pretty much bang on, give or take a percent with the DEXA scale. So that actually is a good sign that it's pretty accurate. And like I said, I think the athlete one might just assume that you are leaner. And so it just kind of has like in the formula that they naturally just take a few off. If that makes sense, that's the vibe I'm getting. Correct me if I'm wrong. In terms of going up and down, the thing about these scales is they never are going to be the most accurate because if they were the most accurate, doctors would use them and they wouldn't use things like DEXA scales. DEXA scales are currently the most accurate way to measure your body fat percentages. There's hydrodraulic testing, there's a bunch of other ways. The thing about this for yourself is it's just a good monitor to know if it's up or down and not the exact number itself. So if you noticed, hey, I gained 5% body fat over Christmas because, hello, peppermint mochas from Starbucks, I don't blame you, girl. Oh my God, huh. That stuff happens and then just it just gives you an aware that, oh, putting on that much fat that fast is probably not good. On the flip side, maybe if you're trying to go on a diet, it can help take away the pressure from just looking at your weight and you can see your body fat percentage. And then it can just give you a range of where you are in comparison to your weight. Like we said, if you hate that you're 150 pounds, but you're like 20% body fat, you're a lean girl, you are lean. Don't worry about that number. So it can be a good way, as long as you don't just suddenly go from carrying about the scale weight to just the body fat percentage. It's just a ratio. It's a good way if you're on a weight loss journey or weight gain journey in some cases, like I've been there, is it's a good way to know where, what kind of weight you're putting on and that. And so I did notice when I lost a little weight, it went down. And then when I put that weight back on, because I was like, yeah, I don't want to be that scrawny, um, 
and we'll wrap back up. So I'm actually gonna hop on and weigh myself and show you guys it. Keep in mind, I do have clothes on. I've got a full belly of coffee and food, so it's not gonna be accurate. These are the numbers I usually get, but just so you can see it on the skin. There's actually an example of how not why why not to take the number on the scale so seriously and how to prove this is not a hundred percent accurate scale this morning my weight was 121.8 or something like that and then my body fat percentage it said was like 19.4 sorry i wasn't focused there but then of course now i just weighed myself i had a full breakfast i've had like two cups of coffee i've had a liter of water and i had sweatpants and a long sleeve on while I weighed myself and it said it went up about 3.5 pounds which makes sense about a liter of water a bit of food my actual clothes like that makes sense but then the body fat percentage went up a little so it's gonna go up a little bit on your weights depending probably in the actual formula it takes into account not just your actual weight and it's electrostatic signal that goes through your body and that's how they do it but it also probably takes in your like BMI and like my height and age it probably takes a bit of that for an average so that's why when my weight went up a little naturally the body fat percentage went up i don't really know though what those scales would naturally read food and water and clothes that i know that sounds silly but i don't know if they would take that into more like water lean body tissue i don't i don't know how that works but yes the body fat percentage went up a little bit so that's also taken into account and also another reason not stress about the scale, something as simple as just putting on my pair of sweatpants is gonna affect it. So it's just a number, it's just a number. You are more than a number. You are a beautiful mermaid, elegant goddess. I love you. So that is my opinions on it. I think it's just a fun tool. It's a pretty scale. It's not the most accurate, but it's gonna give you a trajectory if you're going up or down in body fat percentage. It's not gonna be the most accurate. My recommendation is, as a female, I would just put yourself as female, unless you're someone who has a ton of muscle. And then I think, because I, I don't have a ton, I'm not like super jacked. So, but look, I got some dishes that bust it. Give me credit where credit's due. <laughs> if you're someone like that, I would recommend actually using that. But if you're someone who's just like a lean athlete, you know, don't have a ton of muscle, you just got a bit, I would just use the regular girl one. Or you know what, whichever one you prefer to look at, really, just make sure if it goes up or down. It's just a number at the end of the day. Just like your weight, your weight really means nothing. The link is down in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys have any questions about the scale, any at all, I'm happy to let you know about my personal uh, experience on it. Honestly, it's just a pretty scale that I like the glass look. It kind of matches the whole vibe of my apartment. Like, hello, matchy matchy, matchy matchy. Aesthetics are perfect when it comes to my apartment. I thought it'd be a fun review to let you guys know my opinion. So that is my opinion on it. If you are, don't have a ton of money, I would say just get a regular scale. But if you find you want just something else to take your way if you still want a way to track your weight but not have so much emphasis on just the number on the scale, this is a fun way to take away and not just have so much on one number. And you'll see how much it fluctuates throughout the day as well. Keep in mind our weight's a bazillion reasons it fluctuates. There's a ton of videos on YouTube from amazing creators that I recommend checking out if you're wondering why your scale goes up and down every single day. Totally normal, totally normal. If you guys would like me to start reviewing other fitness technologies and things like that like I know I've done the Apple watch um, I could get my hands on Fitbits I've had those in the past just different apps on my iPhone actual iPhone in terms of how I use it in a fitness journey all those kind of things I am a bit of a tech nerd and I love fashion and I love fitness and so anytime I can ooh burpee that was cute anytime I can combine those <coughs> oh my god <laughs> anytime I can combine all those into one I like to talk about it, so let me know down in the comments any questions, concerns you have about the scale, and no pressure to buy it, but if it's something you've been interested in, that is my opinion, so take it or leave it, it's up to you. Let me know down in the description your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids, it truly means so much to me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Love you all. Sometimes I just don't know how to actually extra these. Video, so I just sit here kissing air for like 30 seconds and be like, Kelty, stop, what are you doing?